Today's episode brings us to here, the swan and dolphin. Now, usually uh, they have the fountains going, and these are not actually dolphins. Are not the dolphins you swim? You see swimming in the ocean. What they did just do, but these are actually like um, fish dolphins. They're called dolphins. Uh, so we're going to check out this one. We're going to check out some of the areas. And over here is the actual ramp you can take to either go to Hollywood Studios or up to the boardwalk, which is in the background that's just filming. You can see the Epcot Falls right there. Um, and of course, you have uh, Yacht and Beach Club on the other side as well, and then Epcot. But this is a. Uh, I've never actually been to the Swan and Dolphin. Uh, I'm not staying here. I'm doing. I'm having dinner here. Um, but I'm gonna do a tour for you guys. And there's the uh, the Swans up there with the fountains going. You can see up in the high up, high up in the, uh, high up in the atmosphere, in the atmosphere, high up in the, uh, up on the building. And they're doing, they're doing uh, remodeling right now. Uh, so as of this filming, they're, they're all doing construction. But they have convention area, which is over there. And you see the, the, the beach area right there as well. Now, I don't know if that beach area it's actually open to the public as far as like, you go put your feet in the water or not. We're gonna go walk by that area uh, and check that out. I know in some other areas, um, like the Poly, the Grand Floridian, uh, they have blocked that area off with rocks and rope. So you can't go swimming in. You can't put your feet in the, uh, in the water. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go find out. Uh, as you walk by it, we're gonna go by the convention area. Uh, we're gonna go by the convention area as well. And it's, inside here is some actually some restaurants. Uh, and there's the walkway to take you to, uh, to both Hollywood Studios and Epcot and the walkway is right over there. Like I said, you can see the, uh, they're doing some remodeling. And then there's the walkway. So we're gonna actually go in this direction. We're not gonna do any hotel rooms uh, on this area. We're just gonna do the lobby and do like some of the, uh, it's what the convention area looks like. So here's the convention center. All right, there's two restaurants over here. And of course there's Milan, the Milano, which is uh, a, I do believe it's a, we're gonna find out. I'm not sure if it's the steakhouse or if it's the, uh, the Italian restaurant. And it looks like it's a, uh, it looks like it's an Italian restaurant. So, now here's some of the seating area. These are the dolphins and the little tables. Now I'm assuming this is like, you wanna have a morning coffee, morning danis, one of those type of places you can actually sit down, have your coffee, have your danis. Here's your, uh, here's the fountain as well. And here's the, here's the coffee shop and more of the convention area. I like the name of the, uh, the coffee shop. And quotes. If you don't have tickets and you're staying here, they have a kiosk here where you can actually buy the tickets because this is not a, a per se Disney resort. This is a Sheraton resort. As you can see with the Disney Planning Center, this is actually a Sheraton resort, not a Disney resort. So, so technically you are in the Disney bubble. 
You can take use of the Disney transportation system. And you get the same benefits as if you're staying in a Disney hotel, it's just not a Disney hotel. Look at the chocolates. And so, and you have your, your, your game center where you can buy your games and your hats, your ears, your classic one and your cla next classic and your classic minis on the back. You have your Ice Krispie treats and your uh, Halloween decorations. And of course, when you watch my live stream, you have the, the candy corn brownies right there. And it's pretty much, you can buy your, your Disney stuff here, your, your Halloween bag, your Halloween flashlights. And we're going to, of course, across the street, across the street, across the, the walkway here, is registration for the Swan and Dolphin. I do like that painting. So this is actually more of the convention area here. And uh, you are gonna walk past because I see a I see a wall I like back down there. And if you're staying here, they actually have a list of the flights. If you're not a local like I am, they actually have a list of when the flights are leaving, the time they're leaving. Uh, you can get your tickets printed out in a little business center here. If you want to call the bus, you can get the bus. Uh, but what I saw over here is actually right here. And this is a photo opportunity of for you guys right here. You can stand right there between the stormtroopers. And this is actually, like I said, the convention area. So we're gonna walk over to, uh, to the other section there that has more of the menus. And they do have valet if you wanna park the valet. So we're gonna walk. So, so here's some of the restaurants, and we're going to actually go into the other lobby area as well. It's it separates in two two areas. And we're walking this way and we're gonna eventually go out towards the beach. And uh, like I said earlier in the live stream, or earlier in the, uh, earlier in the stream, we're gonna take a look at the beach, uh, the beach area. So here's the menu for kimonos, which is, uh, looks like it's Asian inspired. Uh, you got your sushi. You got your uh, sashimi. Yeah, yeah. And you can actually look inside as you go back inside kimonos. And it looks like it's a nice little, nice little uh, Asian restaurant. You can get your see, you can get your sushi done. Now here's the the actual. I do believe this is like the their sit down. Uh, basic uh, restaurant. And did you did you uh, breakfast right there? And they do. And I'm assuming over on the other wall it's the actual dinner menu, the lunch dinner menu. You can buy all your cakes here. You know. 
So it looks like it's just a, a breakfast place, a breakfast style restaurant. So we're gonna walk by the, the beach area. Check out the little beach area that they have here. And then we're gonna head over to that building. And we're gonna actually check out the other area as well. over there's the the pool and I'm not gonna go walk into the pool because I'm not a resort guest uh, that's for resort guests only and besides there's a lot of And I'm looking and I'm trying to see if there's a rope, if there's anything keeping you from going into the water. Yes, there is a rope keeping you from going into the water. But this is a little beach area. Look at the little swan boats that they have over there. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna walk by. And this is the newest building. We're going to come back later for that one. A little play area like that for the kids. I do like those little swan boats. Those are kind of cool. And I'm not gonna walk on the sand, but I'm gonna walk back that direction. And we're gonna go into that section there. The place this would be a nice little walk area, like maybe like in November, September, maybe when it's a little cool out and it's not uh, the ending of August, going on the end of August when I'm filming this. It would be a nice little area if it was cool. You could just walk in the evening, have a stroll, maybe after dinner.
And see, they do have this as you was listening to some music coming by. I probably get copyrighted for that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so, they do have one of these little torn styles, but I usually don't. I usually go through one of those doors. And there's some more restaurants down here. We'll get those in a little bit. But we're gonna go up. And there's more convention center up there. So we're gonna go check that out. So here's the, here's the spa if you want to do a spa. And then they do have the steakhouse, just a little steakhouse over there if you want steak. And I do like, I do like, I do like that. The R2-D2 photo opportunity with the background. So here is the main lobby area of Swan and Dolphin. You got your walk-up bar, little cocktail area where you can get your cocktails. Then I like that fountain. We have another gift shop on this side as well. We're gonna do that gift shop. I feel, it looks like it feels like a quick, like a, uh, one of those convenience stores that you can get your, uh, get your quick, like, sodas or candy balls or chips or. So I thought this was uh, one of those Disney gift shops. It's gotta be around it somewhere. Ah. So I'm assuming that here's the, this is their coffee shop. And I said, you have your chips. You have your coffee shop. You have your, your uh, little bar out there. It looks like an ice cream shop on the other side. You have your Coke freestyle machine if you do the Coke. Look at that Fiji. You have all your sodas. You have your uh, tequilas. You have your kombucha if you like kombucha. It's just kind of like your ABC store, your champagne, your. You got your candy over there. You got yourself soft candy. You got your nodes and your, oh, your, your Laffy Taffies and your Snickers balls and all those. So we're trying to find the the Disney gift shop. And those are the elevators. So we're gonna look down here and see. If maybe it's down this hallway. Aha, it's kind of hidden in the back here. So we're gonna go check out this gift shop. Hello, how are you? It's pretty much like the one on the other side. You just have your, your gifts, and your candies, your hats and ears. Disney toys. Look, they even have your Magic Band Plus here if you want a Magic Band. And you have your pins if you want your pins. Right, you 
coffee cup, coffee cups. Oh, I like that one, that classic one. Oh boy, you betcha. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, think about hitting that little notification bell and that subscribe button. Greatly appreciates, and if not, thanks for watching, anyways. And I'll see you guys on another adventures of another adventures with KM.